At first, it's terrifying just having a blank sheet of music and thinking I have to come up with something that people are going to hear. And once I start getting my ideas going and things start getting written down, it's like, oh, this is getting easier. And then once it's done, hearing it performed is just like unlike, unlike any other experience that I've had. I actually started out with composition because I liked theory a lot and I couldn't find just a theory major. So I thought, oh, maybe there's theory and composition majors, maybe I'll do that. And I just really loved it. We got to work with professional performers and write for them and they performed our music. And that's when I decided that composition was what I wanted to do. Things involving, you know, the growth and development of plants really spiked uh, my interest in plants. And so from there on, I knew that if I had the opportunity to attend college, it had to be something that dealt with plants. College was never expected or planned. It was just something where, you know, growing up and going through uh, avid classes was like, hey, you know, the opportunities there. Going on into high school and keeping up my grades and uh, working at the same time, and that kind of led up to, to this. Here I am today at Fresno State, and I'm very glad and fortunate I, I ended up here. My family is a family of teachers. Um, my grandparents were teachers, my parents were. Um, so I've been around it um, and I grew up in it. And ever since I was little, I've always, it went from me being in the middle of like the kitchen floor, like on the little tiny whiteboard in front of the, um, uh, the refrigerator, like writing out what I learned that day to like getting a big whiteboard for Christmas. And I just think I like helping people learn, having seen those aha moments when they get a concept and just really being like the first role model or, you know, some type of person in a student's life just to push them forward. My uh, parents both went here. They're both Fresno State grads. The feel of campus and being around people who are furthering their education is really exciting, especially for me because I want to be a teacher and just people who like learning has just, I just like being around those people. So I came home from school one day and my dad told me there was a packet in the mail from Smith Camp and it, it was a huge packet. And it was, my mom and I were just like, why didn't you open it? Because we figured that was an acceptance. So I got home, opened it. There, my family was all really happy that I'd be able to go to college without having to worry about loans or finding even more scholarships. I'd be financially secure with that. It was great to hear about it. It was well, very important that students are receiving money that allows them to not have to worry about like where their rent check is going to come from. It lets them focus on their schoolwork and the future. Without these scholarships, I seriously believe, I don't know if I'd be here. Um, after my dad passed away in 2012, that was kind of halfway through uh, college. And it was one of those points where, you know, I was kind of like, am I going to be able to do it now? Because I had to stay home and help my mom out. And so that's about the time where I started receiving scholarships. And so I think it just, it was perfect timing because it was one of those situations where I didn't know whether I was gonna continue. Once it set in, I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna take it from here. And um, these people are willing to, uh, to, you know, to put out this money. And so from there on, I was like, I'm really gonna work hard and I'm not gonna, I'm not going to let them down. So in addition to um, numerous scholarships, I was the second uh, recipient of the John D. Welty Excellence in Community Service uh, Scholarship. Because it feels like I have a crowd of people that are like, you can do it, we love what you're doing, continue to do it. So it just makes you want to perform even better, wants, makes you want to keep going. Because people are supporting you, they see that you could do something and that you mean something to them. It's really encouraging to have that. Yeah, I met Earl Smithcamp uh, before he passed away. Uh, he's come to a few events that we've had here. I, along with all the other Smithcamp students, have just been very grateful to him for all he's done for the Honors College. And to be able to put a face to the name has, was good to be able to have that personal connection to the Honors College and the Smithcamp family. So I've been really fortunate to actually meet with one of the donors of a scholarship, uh, Roger Jensen. Um, I've met him twice, uh, and it's really a great pleasure to meet him. When I first learned that uh, I was going to be able to meet him, you know, I was really, really uh, excited um, because this is a person who has really made a difference in my life. 
So I'm just really thankful of him and his son and his family. I really look into you know being uh, being the person to help farmers um, with the different struggles they have, and at the same time, you know, not just in the career place, but helping out in the community, being involved, um, kind of a way to uh, paint it forward. To me, the act of giving means supporting the future, supporting the development of young people so that they can go on and be successful and give to the next generation. Receiving scholarships after people reading about a little bit about my life and who I am and what I want to do, it just makes me so excited because it's like there's people out there who see little Elizabeth Olenchok on a paper but then read about me and then they're like, this person's gonna go do something and we wanna support her. So that's how I just feel like oh, amazed. They're really paving the way, laying a foundation that, you know, will be there forever and help students um, in any way they can. One thing I will uh, definitely um, have them know is that they're making a difference, not only for one person, but everyone who's attending here. The idea behind the piece is it starts off with little fragments of an idea that don't really make sense at first. become bigger and more connected. Until you finally hear the whole idea in its entirety at the end. It's like, oh, that makes sense now.